Go from sample to answer with Quant Studio 3D Digital PCR System. The workflow is simple. Just prepare the reaction mixture, load and seal the sample, amplify using PCR, and read and analyze your results. Let's take a closer look. Digital PCR on the Quant Studio 3D Digital PCR system employs a simple workflow with minimal hands-on time. At the heart of the Quant Studio 3D Digital PCR system is a silicon chip, which consists of 20,000 individual reaction wells. Each chip runs one sample, and you can assay up to two targets simultaneously. Your Quant Studio 3D chip kit includes 12 chips and lids, 12 loading blades, and three immersion fluid syringes with tips. You will also need the Quant Studio 3D Digital PCR Master Mix. Your reaction mixture is made just like a real-time PCR reaction, mixing your TACMAN assay, your DNA or seed DNA sample, and the master mix in one tube. The Quant Studio 3D chip itself is a self-contained, single-use consumable, minimizing potential for contamination. The loading blade is similarly single-use and simplifies sample loading onto the chip. After preparing your reaction mixture, you are now ready to load the sample using the automated chip loader. Turn on the loader and place the open chip onto the keyed chip nest like this. Then attach a loading blade located on the arm of the loader. Be sure to press firmly on the body of the loading blade to ensure the blade is properly seated on the loader arm. Next, place the chip lid in the holder located on the swing arm of the instrument. The reaction mixture is then loaded into the loading blade. With the push of a button, the dispenser loads and distributes the reaction mixture across the chip's 20,000 reaction wells. Once the loading arm returns to its starting position, apply sufficient drops of immersion fluid to completely cover the surface of the chip. The chip is ready to be sealed with the lid. Take the sealing arm and swing it across until the lid comes in contact with the chip base. To ensure a good seal, firm downward pressure for at least 15 seconds is recommended. The chip is sealed with an adhesive label on the version 2 chip lid. To fill the chip chamber with immersion fluid, hold back the top of the chip label in order to access the loading port. When the chamber is full, Remove the backing from the label. Gently run your finger across the top of the label, then hold your thumb over the fill port for five seconds. Your chip is now sealed and ready for amplification on a dual flat block thermal cycler. To prepare the dual flat block thermal cycler, insert the tilt base under the front of the instrument. This ensures an optimal 11 degree tilt of the chips towards the bubble management area during thermal cycling. Also, remember that chips should be placed so that the chip IDs face the front of the thermal cycler. Cycling will also require two additional items, a flat block adapter and a thermal pad, one per block. Nucleic acid amplification on the thermal cycler takes about two and a half hours. Following completion of chip cycling, chips can be held at 10 degrees Celsius for up to 24 hours. One at a time, read each chip on the Quant Studio 3D digital PCR instrument. A read takes approximately 30 seconds to complete. During the chip reading process, the instrument reads the unique chip identifier and captures the fluorescent signal from the amplified sample. A chip read consists of capturing rocks, FAM, and VIC images for all reaction wells. Data output is count of copies per microliter for both FAM and VIC channels. ROX is used to confirm sample presence in well. Lastly, data is written to a user-defined destination, instrument, USB drive, networked server, or cloud-based analysis suite software. Additional analysis and visualization can be performed using Quant Studio 3D analysis suite software. Visit www.thermofisher.com slash quantstudio3d 
to learn more about the entire digital PCR system and its applications.